Welcome to Your Daily Dose, a devotion ministry of the Faith Baptist Church of Franklin and Middletown, Ohio. Thanks for joining us each weekday as we share God's Word with you. It's your daily prescription for all that ails you. And now, Your Daily Dose. Hi everybody, this is Matt Hinkle with Your Daily Dose today. Daily Dose is a daily devotional ministry of the Faith Baptist Church. And it's always a joy to get to spend a little bit of time with you and Uh, Believe me when I say I don't take that for granted. I I greatly appreciate that you would take a little bit of time out of your busy schedule and spend it with us on the Daily Dose. Well, I want to share with you today a scripture that will be familiar to, to many of you. It's found in the Psalms, Psalm 126, verses 5 and 6. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Here we have a parable, much like the Lord Jesus' parable in Matthew chapter 13. When Jesus told the parable in Matthew 13 of the sower that went forth to sow, we know that the seed in that parable was the word of God. And the soil were the different types of heart responses that one can have to the truth of the Word of God. And so I believe the the imagery is similar here in Psalm 126, that it's talking about being a light, being a witness, sharing the good news of the gospel. Uh, That's what is in mind or in view here in Psalm 126, verses five and six. And I'll give you four things. I've, I've shared this before. Some of you have heard me talk about this. Uh, But let me give you four thoughts that go along with these two verses. Number one, we see that there is an activity. There is an activity, and that activity is sowing the Word of God, sowing the gospel, spreading the good news, and getting it into the ears of the lost. Now, you can put down as a cross-reference for this Luke chapter 8, verses 4 through 15. But my friend, let me just uh, simply say that we've been commanded to sow the seed of the Word of God. We've been commanded to go forth and be witnesses. Uh, uh, In Jesus' great commission, He has commanded us to go forth and tell the lost how they can be saved and go into all of the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Uh, That doesn't mean that everybody is going to be a full-time vocational preacher. But every one of God's people, every saint, is called to be a witness. And uh, we're all to be personal soul winners. If if you're not at all in any way involved in that right now, probably the best way to to do it, to get started, is by giving out gospel tracts. And we have those here at church that you can take. And a lot of times what I'll tell somebody is, I'll I'll ask them as I get the track out and go to hand it to them, I'll ask them if I can give them something that tells them how much God loves them. I'll say, can I give you something that tells you how much God loves you? Nine times out of ten, people will say sure, and they'll take it. Uh, there's no telling whether or not they actually read it or not. But, but even, if, even if only one out of a hundred do, it's worth it every time. Uh, but we are commanded to be involved in the activity of sowing uh, the Word of God. It says, they that sow. So that's the activity. Then number two, uh, we, he speaks of an attitude. He speaks of an attitude. They that sow in tears. They that sow in tears. Um, we shouldn't just be doing it mechanically. We shouldn't just be doing it uh, going through the motions or just uh, robotic in how we go about it. There ought to be some passion. There ought to be some... Uh, heart behind what we're doing. In fact, in in Acts chapter twenty, verse thirty-one, we have a good uh, a good verse that kind of goes along with this. Acts chapter twenty, verse number thirty-one, and here it says this: Therefore, watch and remember that by the space of three years, I ceased not to warn and to warn everyone night and day with tears. The Apostle Paul said, look, I, I was with you for three years uh, there in the ministry, 
and uh, and and did so with with great passion and with all of my heart behind it. And friend, there ought to be some heart in what we're doing. Uh, our ministry here at Faith Baptist Church shouldn't just be mechanical. It shouldn't just be robotic, but it, it, it ought to be done with all of our heart uh, to the glory of the Lord. Then number three, we have a word about assurance. In verse six, it says, uh, "He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed." So that's what we're talking about doing. Then it says, "Shall doubtless." Come again with rejoicing. Here we have the promise of God. We have the promise of God that if we go with the Word of God, with the right spirit, with the right attitude, enabled by the Holy Spirit, we can expect good things to happen. Shall doubtless come again. And then finally, number four, the aftermath. Shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him there will be results now that doesn't mean you'll have 100 percent success that doesn't mean that everybody who hears will accept but 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 god you know we're we're responsible for the effort we're responsible for going and and god is the one that gives the increase right but um if we go enough if we faithfully go god will give the increase and there and there will be always something to rejoice about. I think sometimes the reason we don't rejoice is because we don't go. And, you know, a lot of Christians are, are down in the dumps. A lot of Christians are deeply discouraged and, and having a lot of hard time or having a hard time in their Christian life simply because they're not obeying God on the basic things, just the fundamentals. Uh, now, I'm not saying that an obedient Christian will never get discouraged, but I am saying we're less likely to get discouraged. We're less likely to be down uh, when we're out active in obedience to what God's told us to do. Uh, life just is more joyful uh, when we do that. And so uh, the activity, the attitude, the assurance, and the aftermath. I would challenge you today, uh, start right now. Uh, you say, well, I'm just a beginner. I'm just a novice. I, I have no experience. That's okay. Start today and ask God to help you. I'll never forget the first time I ever went to witness to somebody. I went to a, a, a dear lady's house, an older lady's house. I was a teenager, and uh, we were being taught in our youth group how to, how to go out and witness and everything. And I knocked on the door and stood there, and she came to the door, and and I had some tracks, and I had some other literature from the church. And right when I, right when she opened the door, the wind blew, and I was kind of nervous anyway. And everything I had in my hand blew all over her front porch and all over her front yard. Now, I picked it up. I didn't, I didn't litter her front yard up. I, I went around, and picked up every piece. But oh, I was so embarrassed. And I thought, good night. I don't know if I can do this. But uh, as time went on, I still get nervous but God's grace is sufficient and he'll be sufficient for you as well. So let me just encourage you and challenge any of that today and uh, let us join together in carrying forth the good news of the gospel to a lost and dying world. Well, let's pray and we'll be finished for today's Daily Dose. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you today thankful for another day of life. We thank you for the word of God and the promises that are found therein. Lord, help us to be faithful. Help us to be obedient in all that you've called us to do. And may you enable us and empower us as we take those steps of obedience. And we'll thank you for it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us today. God bless you. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. This has been your Daily Dose, a ministry of Faith Baptist Church. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today and click the bell next to the button to sign up for email notifications each time we live stream or release a new video. To learn more about faith, please visit our website fitinatfaith.com for more information about our church. Have a great day in the Lord.